today in the kitchen we're making scallops in a butter orange sauce and this is so amazing. It's going to be the most elegant meal but it's going to go together really quick and easy and that's what we like. We like it to taste good and look great but we don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to marinate our scallops in some orange juice. You can use fresh squeeze or maybe whatever you have in your refrigerator. Doesn't matter, it's all good. So we're going to marinate those for about 45 minutes or so and then we're going to dredge them in our seafood butter. We're going to sear them really quickly um, in some hot oil and then let them cook Scallops are really quick to cook, so we don't, it's not going to take a lot of time. So we're also going to serve it over some pasta, so you might want to go ahead and get your pasta boiling. So we're just going to take our scallops, and these are huge and lovely, and we're just going to coat them with our seafood butter. And by marinating them, you're going to have that great orange flavor on the inside, and then we're going to make this great butter sauce to go on the outside. It's going to be fabulous. So we're just going to toss them, coat them well, and... Then we're going to make sure our oil is hot enough. I think we're ready to go. And these are just going to be fabulous. So we're going to put these in here and crank up our heat a little bit more and give these a nice sear and cook them. You don't want to cook a ton in your pan at one time, so if you need to, you can do two batches. Um, so we're going to go ahead and let those cook and sear and get nice and brown and crunchy on the outside, but nice and yummy and tender on the inside. And then we're going to go ahead, while those are cooking, we're going to go ahead and make our sauce. And I have my pan. You can use a saucepan or I just like to use my nonstick pan. And we're going to add to this, we're going to add some orange juice, some fresh squeezed or out of your um, refrigerator, and some white wine. And then you can finish the wine if you want later. Um, so we're just going to use that. We're going to let this reduce. So we're going to heat this and let this reduce um, by about half. And while this is reducing and our scallops are going, we're boiling some pasta too. So we have all of our balls in the air and it's really great. Um, then we're going to add some fresh zest to this. So we're going to, there's different ways you can zest. You can use a vegetable peeler if you want, if that's what you have. You can also use a zester which has a little bit of an edge right here and you can pull and you make the long strings which are nice too which look really pretty and then you can chop those if you want a little finer or you can use a microplane which is a pretty versatile tool I have to say you can use it for cheese you can use it for fruits and that type of thing so it's a pretty versatile tool and I like tools that do more than you know one thing so if I'm going to store them I want them to do a lot of stuff for me so we're going to take this and we're just going to shave this a little bit into our wine and orange juice and you want to make sure you don't get any of the pith because that is what's going to be um, it's going to get it's going to be a little bit bitter so you don't want that so we're just going to add that give it a stir with our whisk and then we're going to add our butter to this so we're going to let that cook we're going to give these a turn and then we're going to put those on top of our um, our pasta. So let me show you how it all looks when it's all put together. It's fabulous. We're going to take our pasta in a nice little bowl. Um, I love this pasta bowl. It's one of my favorites. We're going to put our pasta down. We're going to put our scallops, put our sauce on top, and then put some of our zest from our orange on top. It's a great elegant meal. Serve it with a great white wine or a great refreshing drink and it's fabulous. So I hope you enjoy the scallops and I look forward to seeing you next time here on Simple Cooking.